All right, this is a 1974 FJ55 that I found sitting out for about between 15 and 20 years. Uh, this video is to document its condition for an eBay auction or for sale to private owner. Um, we'll get around to starting it here, but we're just going to do a little walk around. There's the engine bay. It's quite rusty. That's uh, the main reason I'm selling it is I'm certainly not a, a body person. Um, it has uh, an interesting patina of lichen on it, which I kind of like, but I said those rust issues are the reason I'm selling it. Um, we spent a fair amount of money getting it running. Uh, actually, the, uh, the mechanic told me that they changed the fluids, put some fresh fuel in it, and a battery, and it started on the fourth turn. Um, I just pulled it outside after sitting for about, oh, two or three months, and uh, it started right up. It was probably about fifth or sixth crank, I guess, with the choke on. Um, it's a three-speed. It starts well, it runs well, it stops well. Now I'll get some documentation of the rust here for you. Like I said, it's rusty. At least the body is. The, uh, the frame seems to be very well intact. Um, the interior is not too bad. The front seat has, uh, has tears over on the driver's side and splits, which you know, one, would, one would expect. Uh, the dash overall is in pretty good condition. Uh, everything's complete. That's really kind of the beauty of this of this vehicle is actually it's just so original, um, almost like a time capsule. Uh, I'll pull the seat up. You can see that all the crank equipment is underneath. Seat belts are are still here. The doors require a little bit of force to shut, but it's no different than. Uh, any of the FJ55s my dad had when they were just a couple of years old, to be honest. Of course, they were also quite rusty. Um, the tailgate is disassembled. Uh, actually, it took me some time to find the uh, the plastic gear that's required to uh, run the tailgate. That was the Achilles heel. Um, I had intents of uh, making some brass ones, but my machine shop told me they couldn't. So, just one more reason to kind of XNA this project. As you can see, all the uh, um, all the weather stripping is very dry. That's uh, another issue with FJ55. And we'll give you just a nice shot of the interior here. Um, you know, obviously sitting out, it had it had some mice living in it and stuff like that. Uh, you see some rust up here. Again, not bad. I mean, actually, the savior for this vehicle in this area may be the fact that it really never was on the road that much, uh, and that's you know it was, it was saved from from the salt that's so prevalent in, in these areas. Here, I'll drop this door. See, it opens pretty nicely. Get a shot of the interior. extra little extra push there um, as you can see the seats torn up we'll get a picture of the of the dash here you can see it's got 58,948 original miles on it uh, this was a uh, this was a one owner vehicle um, actually he told me that he had sold it for a very brief period of time and the uh, the guy couldn't come up with the money, so he had to have the title transferred back to his name. So I guess technically it's a it's a two owner, even though only one owner actually owned it. Um, you can get a shot of the the lichen growing on the hood. Yeah, as you can see, the the uh, weather stripping is very very dry and has suffered over time. Now we'll uh, see if we can stir it up for you, so you can see how well it runs. Nice, very nice starting vehicle. So we 
spent a fair amount of money putting it in this running condition. So the uh, the exhaust is rotted out. Just right about there. And even then, it still runs pretty quiet. Um, but that's pretty much the the rundown on the FJ55. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email at fjcruisertrd at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.